friends good evening everyone thanks for your support on different platforms keep sharing our videos and keep providing your feedback which will be helpful for me as a motivation and also the inputs will be helpful for me to decide what kind of topics are needed for the audience to enhance their skills so let us go to today's topic and i'm going to tell you like uh, if you want to get information about a background job the two tables recently i was doing certain analysis and uh, most of the information was available in these two tables i hope it will be helpful for you so let us go to sm37 take any job which is available in the system okay you can give star star and execute it so you will see the um, data like um, what are the different jobs available so can run for a little bit longer time Maybe seven. You can also, if you know the program name, you can search based on the program name. Okay. And uh, if there it is running based on the event, then we can keep after event. let it come so these are the status based on job status of the scheduled means it is scheduled uh, in the future released means it is uh, ready to go means it is already available based on the time it will trigger and uh, active ready will be like a very few seconds of stays you can really see active means when the job is running you will see the active stays or if the job is running for 10 minutes in the 10 minutes you see the job in the active state once it is completed, it will be finished with green color. If there is an issue, it fail, like uh, it will be canceled. Finish this uh, completion, canceled is the failure. These two are quite popular where, when we are monitoring. And the release is scheduled, ready, active. These are all a time being, at some point of time it will be there. So that's what uh, you need to understand, like how does it work? I think we have given the long, long range. So let us close it. Even if it's almost completed, just yes. Okay, we got already. So no need to. Okay, there are different jobs that will be there. Start date, end date. So if you click on any job frequency. So we'll keep some immediate and periodic value, maybe daily. Save. Okay, we put it something. Okay, this is the job. So, for example, if you want to see this job details, okay, how the job is going to be there and all that, we are going to check it now. Okay, just now uh, we run that one, right? It became uh, 7.33 India time. So it is completed. 
to the daily. So what we are going to do, if you want the information, which table will provide you? SC16N, TB, TCO. So TB, TCO will be the overview table. Here you will get it. Uh, you will get the details like when the job was started. Okay, so for example, when was the job started? And um, see here, uh, today at what time it was running? Every daily at what time it will run? 7.33 and uh, what is the start date? Those things you can see. Here, when it comes to the job uh, details, right? Per periodic job, periodic job, you have multiple fields here. Uh, unfortunately, field description is same, but when you go to technical name, those are different. Okay. So how it will be? Let us check it. If it is filling the first one, it is the minutes. This is hours. This is daily. This is monthly. Okay. So you can see this one, whether it is a periodic job or not, this will tell you, but these fields minutes, hours, daily, days, monthly. I think this is yearly. So in that way, it will be taken care. And if the job is deleted, that information you can see. Okay. Uh, and if there is any script, those things and all, we'll see in the item level table. Okay. So let me show you what I was mentioning, right? The periodic job. See here, periodic job, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, periodic okay so those things like uh, minutes hours days weeks weeks yeah in between that one is weeks and finally months so based on the value you can come to know whether a job is a, uh, a minutes job or hours job or day daily job that you can get it so let's see the tbtcp and uh, this was uh, 30 uh, the job like exactly the table which will give you the in detail Okay, so what is the variant? And um, you can see the program. You can see that uh, report name, program name, ML activation. If you go to the step details, you can see this program and parameters, those details you can see here. So the same program you can see in the table also. Yeah, this is the one. Report name equals the program name. Okay, the job, program name, and uh, the variant name, who has created that one. Okay, and uh, the list name, any other information at item level. Generally, if you are using any script, that also you can check it. So these two tables, you can use it for getting the information about the background job. I hope uh, in this video, you learned how to verify the background job and uh, how to get the details from the table. Like I always mention, uh, you need to learn how to trace the failed jobs. Once you come to SN37, if maybe if you know some information like ML or MM, uh, such kind of information. And if you want to check only the failure jobs, you can uh, run for the canceled one, you will get it. No, you want to get only the completed ones, you can click on the finished jobs. This is the way how we are going to uh, monitoring the jobs. After you get the job, what you are going to do, you double click on this. Here you, you will come to know it is every 24 hours. Okay. And uh, if you go to the step, you can see the program and the program type parameters, the authorized user ID, those things you can see. Let us check our job for which we worked. So that is the step details, how it is available. And uh, if you go to job details, you can see the when was, when was it scheduled, when was the last change was happened, who changed it. So all this information, you can check it. The job name executed the user, so that information you can check it. If you go to job log, you will see the how the job was progressed. When it is failed, you can see some error message here. 
So what kind of error message based on that, you can work on that. And they, then we will ask basis team to reprocess the job. So this is the way how uh, you have to monitor the jobs and how to get the information of the jobs in a table. I hope this video is uh, helpful for you to plan your work in your regular uh, monitoring work. Thanks for your time. Keep blessing with your feedback.